Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're working on the 27 Tall T Coupe Gold Rush. We're going to be working on a um, on a transforming the headlights to a, uh, a new look. What? What are you looking at? Can you let me talk? Stop staring at me. Anyway, rude. So anyway, kidding side, I have the Headwinds um, uh, Beehive style headlights. I really love the look of them, but for the car, uh, being I've got you know a lot of magnesium on the engine and and uh, you know not so much bright work. Okay, so I'm going to show you. And a couple easy steps to go from that to this look. And this makes it look like actual magnesium. That is real magnesium up there. Is this real magnesium? No. But I will show you how to do it. And uh, let's get started. So you're going to want to take your headlight apart. Get your wiring out, your bulb out. Um, these headlamp headwind lights they have some set screws in here um, just the one is in there not this one right now but pretty easy that I have this kind of loose already because it was typically still on mock-up stage so you take this bezel off which you're going to reinstall um, there's a ring in here that retains the, the bulb I use a, it comes with a tool, but um, I don't feel like going and getting it, so I'm just going to use a screwdriver. It just works just as good. Oh, look at this, it's going crazy. The bulb actually sits in a uh, little cove where it won't spin like this, but once I guess you loosen it up, it lets that happen. So this ring actually has a uh, little o-ring in it as well um, no this one does <clears throat> so now bulb comes out and you're going to want to pull the wiring out out of the bucket course I've got 15 feet of wire here let me uh, we'll be right back so the bucket right now is completely disassembled for our purpose um, last thing I'm gonna do uh, prior to showing you the next step is uh, well this is the next step I'm going to tape up the threads but I'm gonna only use uh, some of this uh, three-quarter tape and then this bezel, I'm actually going to spin it back on all the way till it stops. And then at that point, this will be ready for the next process. So now we're back in the garage. And uh, should be able to see. So we got this bead blasted. This base here is, uh, is what the interest is. And then look at this now. How ugly, huh? It was nice and shiny. Now it's all dull from uh, bead blasting. So you definitely, you don't want to use anything rough on this because uh, this, pro this patina process really could, to my knowledge, correctly, it can only be done to like aluminum stuff. Um, might work on other materials, not sure. But I've only done aluminum, so that's the only one I'm going to tell you for sure. So, don't have to be surgical with this. Okay, how we patina this now? 
Well, I got the can right behind you. Um, it's from Spray On. LU204. It's dry film graphite lubrication. So dry uh, graphite lube in a spray absorbs into the aluminum and it will give it a darker uh, look, like a gray, like an aged magnesium wheel that you would see like on a hot rod or gasser. Um, I did a set of wheels for my gasser with this for my drag wheels that were not actual magnesiums that I, you know, I do have real ones on the car, but for dra my drag race ones, I, I did this treatment on it. it people are always full, uh, which, you know, it's for a look, you know, you know, I'm not looking to I'm not doing this to go sell stuff to people and say, yeah, it's magnesium. They'd obviously see the weight. So anyway, what you got to do is, uh, I've shook this up already, so now you start spraying. And it starts turning, turning it gray. It'll come out really dark at first, and then it calms down, and you could wipe on it a little bit to, you know, give a dab it. And it starts turning gray. So I'm going to do this a little bit more. And I can put this out of the camera. Dries super fast. Like you could literally see it drying in front of your eyes. I mean, you see it black. Look at it. All right. So that's going to be behind you here. All right. Now for the fun part, the big pieces. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the inside ring first and then then part of the outside of it and then this way I could set it down, you know, with a, like a cone shape down. Now the price of this bucket's going up real magnesium only kidding see it's getting that stressed look and you can put as much on there as you want but beware it's gonna start getting darker I'm going for a little bit darker because I want it to look really stressed and uh, it will possibly lighten up a little bit in in time okay now I can set it down now we're gonna start doing the Now, when I did the other one, I was doing the same type of spray, and I'm, I'm trying not to go crazy on it. And I am sliding it on there, so it might be scratching off the, the coating I just did. But you kind of want to not go crazy, but you want to definitely do some... Act like you're painting a car here, because... It can get blotchy looking. That's what I just found with the other bucket. So you know that. You can really instantly start seeing where it needs more. For a second and then you could spin it start doing the other side 
well this is the one I did show you but um, with but with no bulb in it so now it is assembled and uh, the difference is huge so um, I just like it, it matches the rest of the engine and everything uh, that goes along with it so uh, just had to knock some of the shine off this thing and uh, I think we're uh, pretty good